Hi, and welcome back. So this is the second part of the writing section of the test one, section 10, which is located on page 429. Turn to page 429 and let's get started. So again, the second writing section is going to be all sentence improvement, right? So let's get started with number one. There is many challenges associated with starting one's own business, right? So this is pretty simple. This is an SVA question, subject verb agreement, and it's an inverted sentence, meaning that the subject comes after the verb, which is the only one trick here, but something that you guys should be able to start to identify, right? The subject here is actually many challenges, right? The, the many challenges associated with starting one's own business is, you know, what makes it challenging, right? So. That's why, can we have a singular verb here? Is it possible to have a singular verb with a plural noun? Absolutely not, right? We need to make this into a plural verb. So that's why it should be either D or E. You should automatically be able to see that it should be either D or E. Um, however, E has this which associate, which we don't need, right? It should be just D. Are many challenges associated with starting one's own business? Good, let's move on to question number two. Here the sentence reads, the watercolors it has on display by the museum represent the era when Japan's emergence from feudalism and isolation inspired its artists to explore new themes and techniques, right? So first of all, there are too many prepositions in this sentence. On display, by the museum, uh, when Japan's emergence, there's just simply too many prepositions. Also, um, you know, the it here is also ambiguous. We don't know what the it is doing, right? So we want to get rid of the it as well. Which is why the best sentence, the one is, is going to be the one that makes it simplest, that gets rid of all of those prepositions, or at least mo most of them, and also gets rid of the it which is why the best sentence here is actually going to be C. The watercolors on display at the museum represent the era when Japan's emergence from feudalism, dot, 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 dot. Does everyone see that? This simplifies the sentence best. Good, let's move on to question number three. Here, the origins of the Teapot Dome scandal can be traced to the presidency of Theodore Roosevelt, William Howard Taft, and Woodrow Wilson. We've seen a, qu a question like this before. It's called number agreement, right, you guys? Here, we have three presidents, right? Uh, number agreement. Theodore Roosevelt, William Howard Taft, Woodrow Wilson, right? Did they all have the same one presidency? No, right? They each had their own presidency, right? So that's why we, this is a number agreement. They can be traced to the presidencies. We need a plural here in order to indicate that each one of these presidents had their own presidencies, which is why you should automatically be able to track it down to B and D. And out of these two, the best answer choice here is going to be B. Why? Because D puts this into a gerund and makes it into an incomplete sentence. Good, let's go on to question number four. Here, the sentence reads, When Sheila and Lucy visited the restaurant, she noticed that the menu had changed and that their favorite dish was no longer offered. This one's a little bit tricky, um, but uh, notice that the menu, had, this one's a little bit tricky because it's going to be a wrong verb tense. Um, and also out of these, and also the thing that we have to correct here actually is going to be the 